Hi friends, welcome to Azure content. This is part 6 in Azure Data Factory real-time scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to retrieve folders having valid date in the folder names using ADF pipeline. So let's uh, so let's see the requirement in details. So we have a container in the ADLS account that is Azure Data Lake storage account where we have folders in these formats so there are few folders in string format I mean the folder name is in string format you can see input folder output folder and then there are few folders which are having uh, some number values uh, separated by uh, hyphen but it is not a proper date and then there are few uh, folders which are having the folder names in a proper valid date format so we want to retrieve only these kind of folders which are having a valid date in their folder name okay so how to do that using ADF pipeline so let's see uh, in practical okay so let me go to ADF portal so here I have the uh, uh, container called anu demo container where I have these folders okay I want to retrieve only valid date fol uh, folder names so these are the two ones which are having proper date format other than this you can see it is not a proper date okay and then this this is having month as 098 which is not a proper and also the date is 54 which is not valid right and similarly this year you can see it is having five five digits so this is uh, these all are not a valid date format okay so how to do this using ADF so let me first uh, start creating the pipeline and we want to retrieve all the uh, folder names so for that we will use get metadata activity so let me go to settings and let me create a new data set pointing to ADLS Gen2 account and let me give any format uh, because we are pointing to the folder so let me choose the link linked service and here let me just choose the uh, container which is anu demo so let me choose anu demo container and let me hit on ok ok let me just remove import schema option and here in the fill list I will select child items because I need to retrieve all the folder names first ok so let me debug it till this point yes so the execution is completed now let me check the get metadata activity output so you can see inside this child items array we are having all the folder names so it is similar to what we have in the anu demo container ok so it is having all the folder names ok now we want to use some function that will check if this is a valid date uh, or not ok so let me first uh, try to check if there is any kind of uh, function present in ADF or not so first I will use filter activity to get the output of metadata in as the item in filter activity and in the condition so let me check in the functions related to date functions what all we have so you can see we have add functions and convert functions uh, but there is nothing that can validate if it is a proper date or not okay so we don't have any functions in ADF that can validate if the folder name is a proper uh, date format or not okay so we have to think of some other ways or other workaround that we can do to achieve this so let me go to SQL Server and here we have something called is date okay so what it will do is if I'm writing the query as select is date and let me give some date format so suppose 2022-0101 if I run this it is giving me one okay so which means it is a proper date if I try to give some improper date value let me run this again so you can see this is giving zero as the output so if it is a date proper date then it will return uh, one as the output if it is not a date then it will return zero okay so let me try to check with some other example also let me give five digit in the year and let me give uh, month and date so you can see it is coming zero so this function we can use inside the SQL server okay so now coming back to ADF let me remove this filter and here we will try to use a lookup activity which will point to our SQL server okay so let me uh, try to choose any of the data set that is pointing to my SQL server okay 
let me remove this first row and here in the query we will try to write the SQL query that will do our job ok. So, first thing let me check the get metadata activity output and let me copy this whole child item array ok. So, let me copy this and let me paste it in my SQL server. So, now what we will do is we will store this output value in a variable. So, to do that let me declare a variable let me declare a variable called uh, suppose get meta data output ok and the variable type will be let me give varchar max because it has so many strings and even uh, if the folders uh, number of folders increase then it will uh, the characters inside this will increase. So, I am giving varchar max as the data type and now let me set the value of this variable as this output value that means this array ok. So, I just declared a variable and stored this output of get metadata activity into this variable ok. Now, we have something called open json function in SQL. So, let me make use of that there is something called open json open json function and inside that function it, it is a table valued function which uh, what it does is it converts a json type of data into tabular data in SQL server ok. So, uh, to know more about this function I have uh, created a video uh, in my synapse playlist. So, you can check this part 8 of this uh, synapse play playlist where I, we have talked about open json function in details. So, I will provide the link of this video in my description of uh, uh, the ADF video ok. So, please take a look on that and here it is a table valued function and here we have to provide the uh, variable as the argument ok. We have to provide an argument where I am giving this variable. So, let me run this till this point. So, now by default it creates three columns called key value and type ok. So, now, we are getting each of these items of array as one row ok. So, you can see inside this value we are getting th uh, this value as the first row similarly this is the second row. So, we are getting all these in uh, tabular structure, but what we want is we want to get this name as the column and value present inside this uh, as the uh, row ok. So, for that what we can do is we can make use of something called with clause here and we can define our own column name. So, let me give folder name as the column name and what will be the data type of this folder let me give varchar suppose uh, let me give 50 to store the value present inside this uh, key value pair ok. So, from where we are getting this folder name we need to get this from the uh, name column path ok. So, for that we have to give under quotes we have to give dollar dot name ok because name is the property which is holding these values ok. So, let me run till this point yeah. So, the first uh, output is for the select statement that we have written let me remove this or comment it, comment it out ok let me run it again. So, you can see we are getting only the folder names with the proper values ok. Now, we want to check what are the valid date formats. So, as I told you this is date function is the one which will tell us uh, after validation if it is a proper date format or not ok. So, what we can do is we can check out of all these records wherever is date of the folder name is 1 we need only those records. So, let me use is date function and inside this we will give folder name as the argument and if it is equals to 1 then we need only those values. So, we are expecting only these two values that is 2020-09-24 and 2022-01-03 should be coming out uh, as the output ok. So, let me run till this point. So, you can see only these two valid dates are coming and it is ignoring all the others where uh, is date function is giving 0 it is ignoring all those values and it is giving only uh, these two proper uh, date format as the output ok. So, this is what we have to use. 
So I will copy the whole query and inside this whatever we have we will dynamically take it from the get metadata activity output. So let me copy all of the query. Let me go to ADF again and here in lookup. So in this query option we will make use of the query which we written in the SQL server. Okay. And here inside codes we need to give get metadata activity output. Okay. So if I uh, select child items here you can see all the at the reads are gone. So it is not a proper format. Let me uh, cut all of these and let me first select this uh, activity output and then let me copy this again and here let me paste that query and now I will cut this and paste it here okay and inside the quotes let me give a curly brace okay so that we it will be converting it into proper string so we are good now we are expecting it will dynamically take the values from the get metadata activity output and it will store it in this variable and then it will convert the JSON into proper table format and then out of all the rows it will check wherever the folder name is having a proper date format then it will return the same as the output okay so we are good now let me run till this point so you can see get metadata activity output is completed and it is giving all the results and lookup is currently running and you can see it has dynamically fetched the get metadata activity output as the uh, input here okay which is getting stored in the uh, this variable okay so don't worry about it so our pipeline execution is completed now let me check the lookup activity output so you can see only two records are getting fetched that means only proper date format of the folder is coming as the output okay all the others are getting ignored out of all these we are getting only these two values as the output so our requirement is met so let me go back to presentation so uh, I hope you like the content so please try to practice all of these small use cases uh, it won't take much time and you will be uh, having a proper uh, practice on the hands-on of uh, ADF okay so please like the video and please uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet and please hit on bell icon to get notifications whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.